Now it's time to talk about something that's almost always confusing to everyone who tries it. Symbolizing sentences that have a not both construction, symbolizing sentences that have a both not construction, and keeping the two constructions distinct. Let's look at this first case. Let A stand for Ann and B for Bob. I just abbreviated because we don't have much space. Suppose I say, it's not the case that both Ann and Bob are home. Now let's suppose that Ann and Bob are the only two people that would ever be in their house. No one else would ever step foot in their house. They're very reclusive. They never let anyone else in their house but them, themselves. So anyway, suppose I say, it's not the case that both Ann and Bob are home. So suppose that's true. Is it possible that one of them's home? Is it possible Anne's home alone without Bob? When I say it's not the case, both are home. Is it possible that Bob's home without Anne? Is it possible nobody's home? So, if you think about it, when I say it's not the case that both Anne and Bob are home, the not is being applied to the both of them being home. What I'm denying when I say this is I'm denying that they're both home together. So let's symbolize this. If I say they're both home together, I write A ampersand B. And I'm putting that in parentheses because I'm going to be operating on it as a unit. A ampersand B just says they're both home together. Anne's home and Bob's home. Anne's sitting in the living room watching TV, Bob's in the other room watching TV, they're both home. And this says no, it's not the case. So if I apply a tilde to this parenthesis, which pairs with this parenthesis, the tilde then is being applied to the whole quantity and not to one individually. And so I'm denying that they're both home. Now, I'll ask, have to ask Mark this question, if it's if, it, if, it's not, if they're not both home, is it possible one of them's home, Mark? He's gone. <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh, is he? Oh, okay. If, if it's not the case they're both home, it is possible one's home, because if one's home alone without the other, they're not both home. And so, this just says it's not the case they're both home. It might be that one's home. It might be that the other's home. It might be that nobody's home. What's being denied is simply that they're both home. So now let's look at the difference between this construction that says it's not the case they're both home and this construction which says they're both not home. Suppose I say both Anne and Bob are not home. Anne and Bob are sharing the verb, and the verb has a not in it, so they're each going to get the not because they share it equally. I'm saying that they're each not home. I'm saying Anne's not home and Bob's not home. So assuming that they're the only ones that would ever be there, what I'm really saying is neither of them is home. I'm saying Anne's not and Bob's not. And we symbolize this by saying... Anne is not home, and Bob is not home. Now let's look at these two constructions for a minute. Some people like, some people tend to think that the tilde distributes the way um, a minus sign might distribute in mathematics. And so they tend to think this means the same as this. But look at the two sentences, they don't mean the same thing. When I say it's not the case that both are home, I'm, it's not the case they're both home. It might be that one of them's home. I'm just denying that the both are home together. Of course, it might be that nobody's home. When I say that both are not home, I'm saying something more. I'm more this is a more specific sentence. Now I'm saying Anne's not home and Bob's not home because they're both not. And so each is not. And so now we know, in fact, that nobody's home assuming they're the only ones that would be there. And so therefore this 
does not mean the same as this, just as this sentence does not mean the same as this sentence. So look at the construction. You have the not coming before the both, and so the not is applied to the whole compound. Here you have the both coming before the not, and so they, the not is distributed onto each of the two, two different meanings. So not both and, bo and both not are, it's important to keep them distinct. They don't mean the same thing. It tends to confuse people at first, and it is a very confusing part of translations to learn. Good luck with it.